You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Bowl. The Bowl. The Bowl. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Growler. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22. Looking live at the municipal field here in South Tucson, Arizona. That is a big pass. Hot. Thrown by Teddy Graham, his first Tonight. throw of the game. 40 yards to Vanilla Dunkaroos. And you are watching Burns and Crackle Mesothelioma Theoma Law Firm in the away colors. White and black with the white helmets. They are Tonight. taking on the number four ranked Rancho Robusto plus size warehouse. They are going to pick this one off deep in territory. Powell with the with the pick and they'll start things off from the 19 with Louisville Sinkhorn. The veteran QB. This is the big small business conference championship game. Rancho Robusto, the winners of the goods division. As high as number two overall, but they suffered a surprise upset loss in week 10. Didn't affect their uh, their standing and their placement in this championship game. Um, but it was a surprise win by Taxes Roadhouse. It wasn't enough. Burns and Crack and Mesa Hulia and the law firm got their win over House of Defaw's Comedy Palace to earn themselves the spot representing the services division. That is Screamo Band Camp with the catch. Going way across his own body. So Watt, the linchpin of this offense, the young running back. This is going to be a big part of this Rancho Robusto team for years to come. So Watt, he's going to catch that one. And Louisville Sinkhorn, perfect so far. Four for four. All short passes, no touchdowns yet, no scoring yet. About halfway through this first quarter of play. And that opens the score, and Rancho Robusto will have to settle for a field goal. And these two teams met in week four, where Rancho Robusto got the 42 to 20 victory over Burns and Crackle. And that feels like so much longer, so long ago, as Morton with the long throw and catch. And they're gonna go right for the opening touchdown. Malik Morton, 70 yards. Tonight. Touchdown to Burns and Crackle. <laughs> Extra point is up, is good. One of those bubble teams, we like to talk about them. Rancho Robusta, you got to feel like they are they are safe. Uh, they have a chance at the playoffs no matter what. Uh, you know, you're the fourth-ranked team. That they, what they would, if they would lose this game, that would be a surprise. That would be two losses in a row for them. And uh, that would certainly mean they'd lose their potential of a first-round bye. <laughs> But I can't imagine they would drop so far out of contention. Uh, kind of in the same boat. There's not a lot of teams you would say that about. But I think they are definitely one of them. And one of the ones you can say that about is Rancho Robusto, as well as we saw it with um, Francois Crapery yesterday. Francois Craper again, that surprise. Overtime loss. That's an interception by Festivus. Restivus the fourth.
And they're gonna break free with attack with a with a big run from Masterpiece Theater. His first of the game, 19 yards, and OD Tolette uh, on the uh, and theater. I think they made a had a big collision on that one. And Masterpiece Theater's day might be over. That is not looking good. <clears throat> As they find the Ross, but it's coming back for a holding call on the offensive line. Teddy Graham takes it first and 20 from the 33 yard line. A lot of time to throw, great coverage on his line and hits Collier. Get 10 of those yards back. Second and 10, goes to the end zone, caught! Caught by Mayo Chupsterd, and that is a touchdown to give Burns and Crackle an early lead, 11 point lead right now. 14 to three as the dying seconds of the first quarter tick away. It's a little too early to be calling upsets right now, but we are watching this one, and again, it's not that much of an upset, I think, as we would see as seven and three for Burns and Crackle. They are a seven win team. The Big Small Business Conference is fairly highly it's fairly high ranked. I think it is the second uh, best ranked conference in all second or third. Uh, so you know this is that, that's a strong strong record. They've got some really good wins on their record, but uh, they'd like to just kind of solidify it with a with a win today. Of course, the second visit to the championship game for Burns and Crackle Mesa, the Leoma Law Firm. Uh, Rancho Robusto, this is their third appearance in the BSB Conference Championship. They did, in fact, win it once before, so they are one and one in those games. This would be championship number two for them. If they have a win, they get a touchdown, and they close the gap to four. So early in the second quarter, we're starting to see some back and forth action. It's looking pretty exciting. Uh, these are two teams. Uh, very strong. Potential to go nine wins with a win today. Uh, one of their two losses, they bookended the season with losses. Uh, they lost to Flappy Pappy, who we'll see in our later game in the opener of the season. You know, losing to a 9-1 a team is not exactly a bad loss at all. Um, and they lost to Taxes Roadhouse last week. That was a bit of a surprise. But again, Taxes Roadhouse finishing the season 7-3. and three. That's about as good of a record as you can ask for anyone. our game after this one. Solwat is broken free into the secondary. He's going all the way from the 23 yard line. 77 yards, touchdown Rancho Robusto. They take the lead back once again in this one. By three, a slim margin. It is 17 to 14. Rancho Robusto. Go. Go. Five minutes ago in the first half of this game. Very closely contested. Burns and Crackle already on the drive down to the 34. Go! Right. 
And they tie it up with a field goal. Four and a half minutes to go in this first half. We are seeing a very tightly contested battle. It is all tied up as we inch closer to the first half. Burns and Crackle, again, considered one of those, one of those bubble teams. One of those bubble teams that are not, can, not necessarily a, 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 a slam dunk of a team in. Um, Rancho Robusto, we gotta say it, we gotta imagine they are. Um, and then, <laughs> puts a similar situation with the bubble, as we saw last night, well, it was the Kabob Barkers were not in any way a bubble team, but Kabob Barkers took a spot away from the bubble team because Francois Crapery are now going to be in that part. So it just starts to shrink it out. And there's going to be some good teams missing out on the final playoff of the season. Again, a 12-team playoff. The six conference champions. Vanilla Dunkaroos breaks the tackle. He's going to go all the way to tie this one back up with three and a half to go. Touchdown, Burns and Crackle. Vanilla Dunkaroos, his go. first touchdown of the game. Kick is up and good. It's tied at 24, 325 to go in the first half of this game. So far, we know that Kebab Barkers will represent the Foreign Legion in the playoffs. We know that Holy Balls will represent the EAC, the Ethical Athletic Conference. The winner of this game will represent the Big Small Business Conference. You have to imagine Francois Crapery are in. So, so again, I think that's three of those that we can say we safely know. I can't imagine Francois Crapery with one loss and 10 wins. And a 10 one record will lose out a spot when they were the number one overall team. I think that's a that's a safe Take assumption it. for me. I would I would safely make that assumption. Of course, our later game, Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty, Take taking on Abigail May's aggressive steakhouse. That is for the Gluttony League Championship again. Flappy Pappy's one of those teams. Gotta feel like they are they are one of those teams that are again similar to Rancho Robusto. They're in so. They're basically playing for seeding, just like Rancho Robusta might be doing here. Go. Robusto, look at that. so quickly they come back and score another touchdown. This is going to be a high scoring affair. Already 55 points in the first half. Burns and Crackle trying. <laughs> trying desperately. They're trying desperately to tie this one up. Before the half is up. goes into the end zone, so Rancho Robusto. 68 seconds left to go in the first half. Soul Watt is breaking free again. They cannot stop him. He's gonna go all the way to the touchdown. First play from scrimmage, 80 yards. Soul Watt! Touchdown, Rancho Robusto. <laughs> Cannot look away from this game. You'll miss a big run like that, and I don't even know what we're totaling at this point for Soul Watt. But uh, I hope we see the statistic pretty soon. <laughs> Little Dunkaroos with the return. Rancho Robusto up by 14. Teddy Graham under center. 
Throws it to Moss, Antoine Moss. First, first catch of the game, 17 yards and first down. 36 seconds to go, Burns and Crackle trying to get this back to one score. That's incomplete. Contested on the right side. Point game. Rancho Robusto. Well in control of this one. We've seen how fast these offenses can react. We'll see how this second half shapes up in just a moment. First, we're going to pause for station identification. You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Ball. The Ball. The Ball. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Ground. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22. Go! Oh, man. We are back, and hopefully you didn't miss any of the action starting things off rancho with the football to start the uh -huh. half Strong victory for, for Burns and Crackle. And they have to take their victories one possession at a time. Arnold breaks free of the tackle. He had a, had a, a, a handle on his uh, on his ankle, it looked like there. as O.D. Tillette back on the field. Uh, Grew some collision with Masterpiece Theater, who I think is still yet to return in this game. Might be done for the game. <laughs> Not looking good. Hopefully he comes back for the playoffs as it is assuming that Burns and Crackle can make it. Lawson on the play from the 23 yard line started off all the way down to the 22 but it's coming back on holding holding against the offense Tonight. we will sinkhorn starts even further back to 13 that's going to be third and 26 that's a fortunate Tonight. fortunate uh mistake for burns and crackles they have pinned them even further back fourth and 26 the punt unit comes out from their own 13. Go. And Burns and Crackle are the 
44, the opposing 44, so it's a short field for them. They're gonna go all the way for a first down. 11 yards on the first carry, and for my knowledge, they are still without Masterpiece Theater. Their star veteran running back, <laughs> he took a nasty injury, nasty hit, and uh, was injured in the first half. Rancho Robusto have answered. It is now a 14 point game yet again. 45 to 31, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Lots of time to play still. Burns and Crackle trying to get back to within one score. At the moment, it's not looking all that promising as Arnold, the backup running back. Forced to carry the, the majority of the load, and that, of course, puts the weight even more so on the shoulders Go! of Teddy Graham. No running, no uh, star running back to hand off to. They got a backup in there. I mean, he can still uh, give them some relief, but not a level that their injured player is accustomed to providing. And they'll have to punt, so that was another missed opportunity for Burns and Crackle. But again, they are playing with. Uh, with, with a, a, a very a major part of their offense missing. So it only feels like a, it almost feels like a foregone conclusion as the clock ticks further and further. And once we get into the fourth quarter, Rancho Robusto, look at that stat. 251 rushing yards for Sol Watt. Still with another quarter to play. Hike! Force a punt, so the score will stay a little, uh, little steady for a while. 45 to 31, Burns and Crackle still two scores down. And Graham hits Ross for what looks like a first down. Yes, they'll give it to him. Hands up to Arnold, who gets uh, the mark him for one yard gain, second and nine. Let it tick all the way down to the, this is the final play from the third quarter. Arnold, <clears throat> 15 rushes, 31 yards. That is not the explosiveness that Burns and Crack and Mesothelia on the law front is ex expects of their running backs and is used to of their offense. So Rancho Robusto knows that they can just double down on the pass rush, but Vanilla Dunkaroos still finds a way to get open. 174 yards receiving for Dunkaroos. Arnold. Breaks a tackle, runs right into the second one. Gets four on that parry. And again, that's if nothing else. Giving a breather. The quarterback, Teddy, uh, Teddy Graham, JT Arnold, 38 yards. Doing just enough to keep this game alive. Uh, first and 10 after the penalty. Teddy Graham. He's on 14, looks for the end zone, almost picked off. Hike. Eight minutes ago in this one, after this game, uh, five minutes after the conclusion of this game, we will head over to the other Muni uh, for Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty. Now with the number three above their name, the number three team in all of South Tucson. Go.
as they take on Abigail Mays, aggressive steakhouse. That's another great one for the Gluttony League championship as Brandon Crackle will get it down to 11 points again. Field goal. Long run, that's not going to do enough, and that time is the enemy of Burns and Cracker right now. Rachel will boost the see they're starting to wind it down. 6.30 to go. Caught by Screamo Band Camp. Wide open. Burns and Crackle doubled down on the blitz. And they will happily decline that defensive offside call to make it 51-34. Rancho Rosuto make it 52 with this kick. 52-34, 6.23 to go in this game, and Rancho Robusto already feel like they have their hands, one hand at least, on a second Gluttony League Championship trophy. Big small business, excuse me, not the Gluttony League. Gluttony League is coming up next. Burns and Crackle at this point. Teddy Graham throwing way across his body at second and 17. Nothing doing there. That was O.D. Tollette hurrying him again. Three stacks to O.D. Tollette. He actually missed some of the game too for injury. Glad to see him back on the field. Fourth and 17. And Rancho Robusto can just take more time off this clock as Berg will field it. Tackled for about 10 yards on the return. 41 yard line is where they will start. 59 yards from the end zone. And so what? With the carry for three. Gets another carry for more than seven. First down. All the way down to the 40. And they're not even going to get to him on that one. So Watt just trying to run down the clock. Instead, he gets another touchdown. Three touchdowns today for So Watt. And there is not a defense that is going to be looking forward to facing Rancho Robusto in the playoffs. Whichever, unfortunately, you got to imagine it's going to be a winner a first round winning team. It's gonna be a second round matchup as Rancho Robusto most certainly will keep uh, a four or higher ranking. Go. back again playing for pride at this point under three minutes to go the game is pretty much a lock at this point a 25 point victory at the point at the moment a 25 point lead for Rancho Robusto Under two minutes to go. Soul Watt brought down only for three yards that time. This is basically a foregone conclusion. So uh -huh. there will be a five-minute break. We'll go to commercial. Soul Watt up again in the middle. They'll kick a field goal to help. Ice this game. It's now an 18 point lead, uh, 28 point lead, excuse me, 62 to 34. Burns and Crackle, and again, Burns and Crackle will find themselves back in that bubble discussion. They've got a very strong record. They have an 
18th toughest strength of schedule out of all 60 teams. No bad losses. They lost the lost they have lost the Rancher Booster twice, the mulch hut ones, and the mulch hut's one of those teams we're talking about likely getting in as well. Uh, Yemen's warehouse, their only bad loss. That was early in the season, so interesting to see. And Burns and Crackle. They keep trying. Third and ten. 90 seconds to go. And oh, they'll get the first down, so that will keep going. After this game, we will uh, do a, a, a break to pay our, ad, our advertisers. And five minutes after the conclusion of this game, we will head over to see Fra uh, Flappy Pappy's Pancake Show. Take on Abigail Mays' aggressive <laughs> steakhouse for the Latin League Championship and a spot in the corner. Sit up. Seconds to go, Burns and Crack keep going, 30 and 15. How much left to report here? Rancho Robusto will win. Second ever big small business championship. They went to the playoffs for the second time in their history. The Burns and Crackle, they have lost their second championship game in their history. We'll have to hope that they get an at-large bid. As be one of the last teams in, you have to imagine. Tonight. If they are, you know, if they even are in, uh, it's a log jam once you get past like. You know, if you start ranking your at large teams <coughs> who are in and who are. Uh, you start getting down to about like. I, th I think a lot, of the, a lot of the experts were saying that it comes down to the last two or three spots of at large teams. Tonight. There could be as many as eight teams vying for those spots. It is now a very nice score, 69 points on that one. And Rancho is the scoring at will. The Dunkaroos with the return. Six seconds ago, this will surely put an end to this game. Teddy Graham will take one last shot at it. Incomplete, one second to go, never mind. And that'll be it for this one. Tonight. Final score, 69 to 41. Rancho Robusto win the Big Small Business Conference Championship over Burns and Crackle, Messi through the Milma Law Firm. And they get their spots in the playoffs. That as well. Don't need those playing. And uh, we will take a short break. We have our next game coming up in just a few moments. We'll... Uh, Take care of the advertisers in just a few. Do not go anywhere. We will be back in just a few with Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty versus Abigail May's Aggressive Steakhouse. You're listening to South Tucson Youth Football. You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Bowl. The Bowl. The Bowl. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Growler. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22.
And we are back here at the Muni for the second of our two games here. It is championship week. This is the fourth of six total conference championship games. Will it be Abigail Mays' aggressive steakhouse? Currently driving downfield with the opening possession of this game. <laughs> or will it be the number three ranked Classy Pappy's head kick chance? Who will join the likes of Holy Balls, Kebab Barkers, and Rancho Robusto as conference champions and automatic bids into the 12 team playoff of South Tucson Youth Football for the 2020 season? We crown our fifth ever champion. To join the illustrious history of You Need a Clown, the Creamy Surprise, the Marmalade Shack, and of course last year's champions, the Binging Texan Barbecue Buffet. And based on their records, I think we're going to be crowning a brand new fifth champion. No one will have the chance to get into the playoffs based on how those four teams perform this season. Starting to see that the bubble is existing around around seven or eight wins interesting to see that will be uh curious to see how the committee decides it's picked off it's abigail mays with a short field the lineman just kind of snatched it out of the air from the quarterback when he threw it tweaked groin the running back gets all but two of those yards it's an eight yard gain second and two for the five Little dump pass over the top to Fuller. Touchdown, Abigail Mays. The visitors, the underdogs. Just slightly underdogs. Strike first, and they get a touchdown. Three and a half minutes into this game. 7-0, Abigail Mays. Flappy Pappies again, just like Rancho Robusto. Another one of those teams, you gotta feel like they are a lock for the playoffs no matter what. Um, just a matter for them of seeding and you know, protecting what they believe to be, at the very least, uh, a first round bye. They love, they could make a claim for an overall one seed. If they were to win today, they would, they would join Francois Creighton at 10 and one. And the timing of that makes with the quality of wins and losses. It's very possible. <laughs> Flappy Pappies, their only loss of the season was in week number two to 1 800 buy a day. Go! They have gone on an eight game winning streak, possibly nine with a win Tonight. today, but right now, Abigail Mays, a team of Flappy Pappies, uh, defeated in week five by a score of 69 to 24. So, this is a team they handled. As we saw last night with the Bob Barker versus Francois Crapery, it's not always easy to beat a team a second time when you face them. They know so much more in Abigail Mays. After losing the Flappy Pappies in week five, they lost again to the Creamy Surprise and then turned around with three wins in a row, only to lose to Del Drango's discount seafood and a bit of a surprise. Result to end the regular season. Potentially, have been talking about Abigail Mays as another bubble team. I think with six wins, seven and four is going to be well. Seven and four would get them in, but they, that's their only route to the playoffs. I think at this point, uh, it's safe to say. Too many other teams that are kind of up in the air, bubble teams. It'll be an interesting Monday night after the final two games. Of course, Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. here in South Tucson will be the final two games of the championship week. <clears throat> here in South Tucson, before we start the playoffs, it will be Twin Towers Construction taking on the Horse Pussy Saloon for the BCC Championship, uh, as well as... <laughs> Shifty Lee's Arcade taking on Papa Joe's Child Escort Services in the CSC Championship game. 
two, two conferences that didn't have a championship game for their very first season. There were only eight team leagues. And also two, uh, two conferences that have seen champions before as well. You need a clown, of course, the CSC team that were champions in the very first season. And the BCC, sorry, the BCC has not had a championship, my mistake. It's actually the Gluttony League twice, so this, of course, uh, unofficially the Conference of Champions, the Gluttony League, Marmalade Shack, uh, not the Marmalade Shack, uh, the Binging Texan and the Creamy Surprise, both champions out of the Gluttony League, and the Marmalade Shack, of course, out of the BSB, so. Oh, just some, some, uh, some, uh, some statistics about the uh, about the Gluttony League. About these two teams, Flappy Pappies. This is their third championship game. They have won one conference championship before. They are one and one in these title games. This is their third. Because of that one win, they have made the playoffs once. On the other side of it, Abigail Mays, debutante, brand new to the championship game. This is their first Gluttony League championship game. And oh, that's a long pass, just missed. Fourth and seven, Abigail Mays will be punting this one away. Tonight. And those are the two games on Monday night for you. Twin Towers versus Oh, and oh, he's running all the way back. It is going to be a, well, basically a kick six. Off the punt return, Flappy Pappies in a big way have tied this game up. 8.17 to go in the first half. A lot of time left, but we're already seeing a lot of adventure. And a lot of interesting developments in this one. Can Flappy Pappies... Grab hold of this game early and hold on to the point that they will not be letting go. Sweet Groin has something to say about that. He is going to uh, rush for about two, but that is a large part of the Abigail Mays offense, as is young quarterback Nashon Young, who hits Johnny Dick shot for that first down. Dumps it off to Fuller for four yards. Stanley Fuller. Tight end there. A lot of time for Young. Gets rid of it. Has some daylight category excrement. And he'll deny, he'll decline the past interference on the defense. For a big gain and Groin only gets four on the first down rush play. Again, after those two games, Monday night, we will go right to the selection show. We'll go right to the selection show and reveal the bracket so don't miss that on Monday night. Of course, the games will start 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. here in South Tucson. And the games will go about. We kind of project that the selection show will happen at about 9 15 p.m. Eastern, 6 15 p.m. Arizona time and that will only take a few minutes to reveal the bracket no need to have a long drawn out hour long show for that <clears throat> by then we will know six teams we will have a good guess a good idea of who about another maybe two three possibly four teams will be Take. It's always going to come down to those double teams. Who will be those last teams in the field? Go! The Bob Barkers taking their uh, way into this playoff. That's not a thing I think any of them would have expected. Six and five. With the big upset over Francois Crapery last night. Francois Crapery obviously going to be there as well. 
tonight. I have to imagine Mama Logano's legitimate spaghetti house. That's already three teams from the foreign region. Um, <laughs> you know, you can maybe make a case for Danish lose. I don't know. They're probably one of those bubble teams as well. Um, we, got, we have the mulch hut. We have smoked meat every day. Hey. Teams that are not going to be playing in their championship game. Literally smoked meat every day are only are not here because the Bobby Pappies have their spot. That's two teams from the same division in the top five. And, um, of course, we also have, uh, as I was saying about smoked meat every day, that's Flappy Pappies' uh, divisional rival. And um, the Molta. The Molta, a great team as well. Got a have a real good shot of making it in there. Wouldn't necessarily put them a bubble team, but towards the high end of the bubble, low end of the lot. Again, they only aren't in there. They're not playing for the conference championship because Rancho Robusto took that spot. So it's going to be interesting to see where everything starts to shape out. It's going to be a great playoff this year. Velveeta Dream coming back off the injury from earlier in the half. He gets enough for the first down. Tonight. We're getting closer and closer. To the first half coming to an end. Abigail Mays up by three. This is a, a, a very close game. Much closer than the first game between these two teams. Was so again, we're seeing, maybe we're seeing another thing where it's just tough to beat a same team twice. Ash Young is hurried, gets it off the giant dick shot for the first down, and they call a timeout. Well, Flappy Pappy can call a timeout, that's what we're doing. 90 seconds to go on the game in the half. Keep going, tapping for a big loss 35. <laughs> That is Tyson with the first down, just barely getting it. <laughs> Chris Pierre, second and in inches. Abigail Mays looking really solid. Right now. And off to Tweak Groin. He is hit low, and that's a tackle for the last third and four. Incomplete, and looks like a field goal. No pass interference against the offense. Category excrement. <laughs> All for that one. So they pick a long field goal. It's no good. Still a three point game. 35 seconds to go in the half. Go! Barber, the young quarterback. What poise, what what talent for Flappy Pappy. Hits Edwards, Dan Marley Edwards, the veteran tight end. Barber looks for Forte, gets it over the shoulder, catch by Forte to end the half. Ultimately unnecessary. We're gonna pause for station identification before the second half uh, continues. You're listening to KYST 89.3, The Ball. The Ball. The Ball. And now time for South Tucson Youth Football. Simulcast on AM 1400, The Growler. And on South Tucson Local Access Channel 22. Oh, man. Back here with the second half, Flappy Pappy start things off down to three. But with the football to start off the second half. Five yard gain by Carpathia Titanic. That's the game. A name that I have not said all game. Carpathia Titanic. That shows how Hike. important he is to this Flappy Pappy's offense. Incomplete pass. Wide open. Carpathia Titanic. 
to the star running back. And they will punt, so Flappy Patton. Struggling at the moment. They are down by three. And unable to take the lead. It's Tweet Groin we're hearing more of. Tweet Groin, the running back. Oh, breaks free. Spin to win. Gets the first down. Down to the 34 already. Oh. Abigail Hayes. Oh, they read that one in Groin for a loss of four. to go in the third quarter. Abigail May's chance to go up by six now with a field goal. It's up, it's good. Lappy Pappy still. Lots of time left, but their offense has not found that next gear just yet. They still have, they're still very much in it. It's only a six point game. Right now, the offense has not well. Carpathia Titanic breaks free for pretty much the longest run we've seen from him all day. Go! And, and perhaps that's enough to get this offense motivated, running, and... Go! Goodness, it is, it is, it just takes one like that. Gage Barber airs it out to London Weatherford. Landon Weatherford, excuse me. Big Go! catch. Down to the 18. That's incomplete. Second in. Arpathia Titanic. Tonight. Bust through. Blue 133 yards. The Blue very quiet. Ready. 143. Good. The Flappy Pappies. For the end zone, first and goal, incomplete. Green, 33. Green, 33. Such a physical game, such an exhausting game. Played at the highest of qualities. These kids breathing heavily. <laughs> Suffering aches, pains, injuries. For the winner, the season is most definitely not over. For Flappy Pappies, you may know the season Tonight. is not over. No matter what. Once again, which again is our wonderful technology to enhance the football to what seems like preposterous sizes. Uh, that way we can go ahead and see exactly where this football is spotted at all times. End of the third quarter, it is 
a three-point game. We are now going ahead and putting upset alert to everyone's mobile phones as Abigail Mays up by three with a quarter to go. Tweak groin, go to the Invigator to see him break free. Let's see where they spot it. We can see it's very clearly on the 16 yard line. First and 10 for Abigail Mays. Abigail Mays just extend to 10 points. 7.44 to go. We are most certainly on upset alert. Carpathia Titanic big rush up the middle. And they hand it off to him again, and he's, oh, stopped just short of the first down marker. Second and three. Time continuing to tick. 6.39 to go in this game. Gage Barber, they're down by 10. Finds Forte. Hands it off to Carpathia the Titanic. He's got space. He's tackled, chased down. But a big gain, 13-yard line. Barber, it's a loose, ball is loose. Oh, it's recovered by Leak, but it's a loss of 12. Second and 22, back from the 25. Hands it off to Carpathia Titanic. He's all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Flappy Bap is just like that. It's a three point game once more. Tonight. <laughs> Extra point is good. 30 to 27. Young. Look at ice one. It's picked off. It's picked off by Lex Octavian Brown note. And Flappy Pappy's 440 to go. Carpathia Titanic. Green one. That's a three-yard catch. 407 to go. Abigail Mays are starting to feel that grip slip as Flappy Pappy's finding that high uh -huh. gear. And moving this offense, they couldn't be held quiet. And Dan Marley Edwards all wide open for the catch down to the five. First and goal. Tonight. Gage Barber finds it to Velveeta Dream only down to the two. Oh, the mark him at the one. I guess he had uh, he moved backwards. Tonight. I think I know what they're going to do. Oh, I thought they were going to give it to Titanic. Thrown over the top. Second and goal. Now third and goal. 2.24 to go, and a false start is the call, so they'll move back five yards. Third and goal. To Dan Marley Edwards for the touchdown. Flappy Pappies take the lead. Oh, it was a false start on the defense, excuse me. I misread that. I was wondering why they hadn't moved back five yards. But Flappy Happy have a four-point lead. 2.17 to go. Category excrement will take the return. Return the kick all the way up to the 32-yard line. 68 yards to go for Abigail Mays to regain the lead. Tweaked groin will take it a large part of the way. Large part of the way. All the way up to the 49. For 19 yards and a first down. Two-minute warning. Both teams with all three timeouts. A field goal will not do it. Abigail Mays will need to throw a to score a touchdown to get potentially the win. And they hit it to Johnny Dickshot and force a timeout. From, well, Abigail Mays used their timeout. Nash and Young all the way down. Rusty Petway. 
with the catch down to the seven. Nash and Young yet again. Shotgun formation, a lot of time. Touchdown, Dick Shot. 37 to 34. Here comes the extra point to make that official. Three point lead restored by Abigail Mays. And now Flappy Pappies once again will need, will need, will need to put together a game winning drive. 75 yards to go. Catch by Velveeta Dream down to the 48. 52 yards from the end zone. 83 seconds to go. Gage Barber throws it long. Oh, it's incomplete. Stops the clock at 116. Second down, 10 to go from the 48. Gage Barber throws it. Caught by Nicholas. Passes the line for the first down. Down to the 39. The clock is at 109. And now continues to tick both teams with one timeout left. Gage Barber, he's hurried, throws it long. Caught by Velveeta Dream, 53 seconds. They are down to the four. Gage Barber, a lot of time to throw. It's caught for a touchdown. Weatherford with the touchdown. Big play. Touchdown, Weatherford. It's a four point lead for Flappy Pappy's coming back. From down 10 at one point. And what a game this has been. We have seen so many great games. High quality football played all around. Abigail Mays had this for so much of this game. They still have a chance. There's 36 seconds to go. They have to go 68 yards. Nash and Young airs it out. It's picked off and that's gonna seal it. Oh wait, it's, no it's not. It's, yes it is in fact, it's pass interference. And Gage Barber is, well they got to Gage Barber to stop the clock for the last time, 29 seconds to go. And this is putting the bubble teams in a better position as a ranked team will in fact take an auto spot and that will pretty much do it. I don't know why they got out of bounds on that play. They could have ended this one. It's fourth and 11 and they will punt it back. So mistakes made by Flappy Pappies late in this game put Abigail Mays with a long shot. They're at their own 24, but they have nine seconds. Nash and Young, gas time, incomplete. This will likely be the last game, play of the game. Can they do it? They'll need to go deep for the touchdown. They go to the out route. Nuggets Malone catches it. But that is the game. And that is it. Your champions of the Gluttony League are Flappy Pappy's Pancake Shanty. Looking to find themselves with a first round bye in the playoffs. And they are eyeing a number one overall seed. What a game that was. Thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you once more on Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. here local time in South Tucson, Arizona for Twin Towers Construction as they take on the Horse Pussy Saloon and Shifty Lou's Arcade take on Papa Joe's Child Escort Services. Those are the final two championship games of championship week. What a, what a game we saw today. Flappy Pappies with the win. By a final score of 41 to 37, our earlier game saw Rancho Robusto plus sized warehouse defeating Burns and Crackle Messel through the Oma Law Firm by a score of 69 to 41. If you missed out yesterday, Francois Crapery were defeated for the first time by Kebab Barkers in overtime, 55 to 52, that final score. And Holy Balls with the upset over Blind Bob's Firing Range, they blew them out, 55 to 21. That final score, Holy Balls, made their way back into the playoffs for the fourth time, their fourth ever championship of the EAC. What a game. What a, what a, what a, what a championship week we've seen so far. Thank you all so much for joining us. We'll see you back here on Monday night for the final two championship games. And, of course, following that, Selection Someday will be Monday. And we will find out the bracket, and that will continue 
into the playoffs starting off next week. Until then, so long, Arizona.